Cool. I was off routine today, so I didn't record in the morning. I don't know what it is. It's been a super, I don't want to say lazy week, because that's not accurate, but like it's been a sore one for sure. I've been slacking in the pool. I've been doing like only two and a half kilometers, 125 meters, and three kilometers and 50 when I usually do three and four kilometers respectively. So just been taking it easy. I don't know. Shoulders kind of bugging me. Um, and what else have I been doing with the rest of it? Well, um, as I said, probably earlier this week that I was going to start looking at some content stuff, um, which I did. That was a, so the thing that I made, it's sort of been, I mean, I call it a breadboard, um, you know, cause it really kind of is. It's basically a static website generator. The thing I'm calling content Swiss Army knife. It, uh, I have managed to sort of move ahead in the sort of massive refactor of it. Um, and I uh, sort of started thinking about. Well, one of the things I was starting to th start thinking about was like. How, I mean, just sort of like how useful knowledge graphs are in general, like just how, and I mean, it's funny too, like just the maturation, I would say, and the like change over time of like, just like what this stuff has been called, because like, you know, RDF has been around for over two decades, like the original spec was in 1998. Uh, it came out like almost right on the heels of XML. It was like originally implemented in XML and then it quickly sort of veered off away from it. Um, you know, and like semantic web was bandied about for a while, and then link data and like now it's knowledge graphs. And it's like, well, you know, these things are like an overlapping kind of Venn diagram of things anyway. Um, but in particular, the um, you know, there's just sort of the knowledge graph thing and it's like, well, what is it, right? Like, you know, I would say, I mean, I would say that the, you know, the thing that you want, you, you know, is this, is, is the, is a graph structure. And by graph, I don't mean like a fucking pie chart. I mean, like the mathematical structure known as a graph and which consists of nodes and nodes and lines, things and things that go between the things. And the lines are typed. So the lines are different kinds that you can imagine them being a different color, red ones, blue ones, green ones, yellow ones, whatever. Each one gets its own thing and the relationship, they represent relationships and the relationships are different. And the, the nodes are you can just, I mean, the nodes are also typed in a way, but like you can express, like it's, a, it's equivalent to say that the nodes are typed to like, there's a particular kind of edge type called type. And it refers to a particular, you know, class or whatever, which is basically how it works. Um, you know, but you create this like network of things. And then it's like, from there, it's extremely easy to just make that into a website. And then you go and you click around on the damn thing and you can like learn stuff about things. And of course you can query that information and then you can collate it and aggregate it and do all sorts of other crap with it. And it's just, I mean, if I, again, if I have to like explain why that's useful, then I'm like talking to the wrong audience pretty much. Um, and so, the utility that I've been doing or that I've been sort of interested in looking at is I want to see, for example, like if I say like, I'm going to take my own website because it's a corpus, you know, it's a re it's like a relatively big, big corpus There's like 800 or so pages on there, which is insane. But, um, 
you know, most of them are not like they've just abandoned drafts. And like part of the reason why my motivation to do this is actually like to figure out what the hell all of those abandoned drafts even are, because maybe there's something useful in there. But those all they link to certain things. They talk about people, places, companies, products. You know, they talk about events, and you know, they they mention things. And it would be awfully useful to say like for a given thing show me all of the documents that mention it which is a knowledge graph kind of question and so you know this is stuff that i've had kicking around you know this is like all super 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 stable you know super conventional stuff like it's nothing is there's nothing insane or fringy or even really, you know, out there kind of kind of stuff about this. It's really quite quotidian, quite mundane, everyday, boring stuff. So the way to do this um, is, so I just have a pile of files that is like, you know, my website that I've been having for whatever it is, like 14 years or something like that. And then I just have this one file that's just full of RDF data that's been sponged out of the, out of those files. And then they kind of interplay with each other. So like once you get it out initially, once you get the, the data out initially, then it becomes authoritative. And so the file, it's like if you're going to be writing stuff to the file, then the file becomes just the receptacle for the mark, the actual, you know, documentary content and then all of that gets that's what the swiss army knife thing does is it zips those two things back together just like at the at the moment it's just a static website generator and it does a few other things but um you know it's a uh it's where the sort of where the um the innovation where that is is um so one thing that it does is it's dealt with um like the problem of urls um and link rot so i deal with that um by giving everything a unique identifier and then saying like eh, on top of the the uh, addressing is like overlaid on top. So if you change it, it changes and remembers what it used to be called, which is like something that all, like basically the, the Swiss army knife is kind of like, if I was going to design a CMS, like what would I do? That's what it is. It's a breadboard for, for, for basically that. Um, and, uh, so, you know, I have things in there. Like I have like backlinks, like, you know, every page should have backlinks would be the other thing. So every page should have immutable or not immutable, but like basically virtually indestructible addresses. Every page should, um, should also uh, have backlinks and every page should also be able to be reused. And so that's what I, one of the things that I did this week was I went and I, I um, impregnated the entire i went and i looked at every section of this of the of every document so i brought it up to speed and then i stuck uh you these compact uuids I, I think i talked about this in the last video i should probably review these before i do them um but yeah so i stuck so uh i stuck these in as ids so now like everything every section of every page now has a has a has a uuid attached to it um and so and then of course that can get overlaid by a human readable identifier if you want um and i have like long ago had um transclusion capabilities so you know if i want to just refer to a section in another document i just get, get its url and i put it in the markup and it's, that's a done deal um so i've had that capability for for a couple of years now um what else but um yeah i mean it's sort of like you know swiss army knife is 
is a breadboard for if I had my own, if I was going to make my own CMS, like what, what, how would I make it? What would it look like? How would it work? Um, and so I think the next thing that I'm going to do, I was going to do this yesterday, but I kind of ran out of juice, uh, cause it's just been a low energy week, but, um, the next thing I'm going to do is indexes for people and organizations. So I have indexes for like books. I have indexes for concepts. This is going to be an index for entities. And then I'm going to rip through the entire corpus and see like where who, and that's going to be a whole other thing. Cause that's got to be like a um, natural language processing deal, which I'm like, Ugh. But um, anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So um, I already finished my coffee. I didn't have it this morning, but I had it just now. So have a good weekend.